Man United officials hold Jad on Sancho expectation as transfer decision reversed. Manchester United officials reportedly believe Chelsea could still attempt to complete a swoop for Jad on Sancho before the transfer deadline day. Sancho returned to Old Trafford this summer following a public fallout with manager Eric Ten Hag, which prompted a loan spell with Borussia Dortmund. However, there is talk of him leaving before next week's deadline. Paris Saint-Germain have expressed an interest while Saudi Arabian clubs have also been touted as possible destinations for Sancho. Premier League rivals Chelsea remain in the mix and the Athletic Report United officials are anticipating Chelsea could still make a move for the 26-year-old despite signing Pedro Nito and being close to welcoming Joel Felix. United could be willing to accept a major loss on Sancho after spending £70 million for his services in 2021 and are said to value him at £40 M. Sancho played a part in United's Community Shield defeat against Manchester City at Wembley and missed a penalty in the penalty shootout. He was later left out of Ten Hag's match day squad for their Premier League opener against Fulham due to illness. Elsewhere, PSV Eindhoven are reported to have reversed their decision to pursue Tyrol Malaysia due to injury concerns. The defender has not played for United since May 2023 due to two rounds of knee surgery and is continuing rehabilitation at Carrington. He is not expected to return until October, though Ten Hag assured he is in a good place but would be sidelined for a little longer. Soccer News has explained the Eredivisie side's decision to look elsewhere. It is claimed Malaysia seemed like he could be an option for PSV before the club realized that he still needed some time to get fit. In other news, Jack Fletcher has sent in Yo's decision makers a message he's ready for the next step. Manchester United's under-21 side kicked off their Football League trophy campaign with victory against Barnsley. The EFL trophy sees Manchester United's under-21 side take on senior opposition in the form of teams from League One and Two. The 2024-25 edition began on Tuesday night, with United taking on Barnsley in the opener. The Red Devils came from 2-0 down to win 3-2 in the end. It offers academy players a real chance to prove themselves against professionals rather than other kids, and therefore it can be an effective way of judging youngsters against seasoned professionals. Jack Fletcher shows himself to be a star in the making. United's under-21 side beating the senior side of Barnsley is an impressive feat for the individuals involved, and they will be delighted with themselves for their performance. Jack Fletcher was the star of the show at just 17, scoring twice in the game with one of his goals being a true wonder goal, firing it in from well outside the box, a goal which he will never forget scoring. The other United goal was scored by Ethan Innes, who made it 2 from 2 this season as he continues to restore the hype around him toward levels they were at before his injury problems, with a new contract already signed. All three goals came in the 80th minute and onwards which indicates these young players have the Fergie time gene already installed in them. The win puts United top of Group F, with the two other teams being Huddersfield and Doncaster, two tricky ties for our young Reds. Fletcher sends a statement to Ineos. Fletcher was part of the tour squad earlier this summer which shows Eric Ten Hag is aware of his ability after he was pinpointed as a top-tier talent last season. Described as being like Cole Palmer in playing style, Fletcher is a superb talent who Ten Hag believes has a huge future with claims in January suggesting he could be fast-tracked. Fletcher performing so well against senior opposition is a real statement and will undoubtedly see him a talking point at Carrington tomorrow among Inyo's decision makers. While he is not a Premier League ready talent, it could be worth United testing the waters over potentially sending him on loan this season where he would benefit far more than being in youth football. Alternatively, he could be in line for Europa League and Cup minutes which could be huge for his development. He is a very special footballer and United will be laughing at Man City for letting him go. And the O's need to sit up and take note because United have another gem who needs to be treated as such. Whatever the club decide to do with him this season, he is ready for the next level. Well, in that thinking, Tuesday might have seen one United wonder kid send a statement to any O's. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.